was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Obviously, you gotta let the paint burn. Oh my god, look at the smoke of that. <laughs> Okay, peace. Want to do an honest video? As you can see, that is pumping off some smoke up there. Look at that. That's burning off the access paint on the actual unit itself. So I want to show you this process as well. You should do this outside, but it's alright. I've got my, you know, my door open, and I'm gonna wait outside now. Yeah, because that smoke's getting a bit strong. But it's burning lovely, lovely, jubbly. Give it an hour burn, and then I'll come back and give you some good results, hopefully. So it's been 40 minutes and I've added two more pieces of wood inside there. Um, I'll just show you the size, this size inside. Um, I lowered the vent as well. My main concern is the, what's it called? The hot plate. I can see through, but I can't see no smoke coming out of it. I can see the smoke still burning off the actual unit itself after 40 minutes. Let me just show you. Well, there you go. But there's no smoke coming out of there, so that's pretty cool. I just want to show you the temperature because if I get close, it doesn't read it. And I ain't got that good light here, so let me show you. Down the bottom, it's showing about 89, 90. There, it's showing about 230. At the top, nearly 300. And let's go up here somewhere. And at the top of the flue, it's showing around 72 to 130. So the flue is around 130. It was showing higher than that. But obviously I've lowered the vent now so all I'm doing now because you can tell the wood burner itself is actually changing color now it's going a bit dull so I'm going to give it a good two three hour burn with the same wood um, hopefully um, I'll keep you updated to see how much wood it burns but yeah I'm going to sit outside because that does stink trust me that paint stinks but let me give you a little closer look so you can see the color of the paint it's not that difference to be honest, but you can tell if you look from the bottom, it's going lighter. Yeah, and it's kicking off some bloody heat that is. And before anybody says anything, I won't be using it on carpet peeps. This is just a test purpose, just to test out my porthole, you know, to make sure that's all good and everything else is good. You see, I moved the battery, got the inverter at the back, the temperature's good up there. Um, sorry. The temperature's good behind that inverter, so that's cool. Over there. So yeah, I'll sign back in and keep you updated. Look, no smoke at all, Rob. Told you, I'm the I'm the DIY king, oh, isn't I? Here we go. Come on, mate. DIY king. <laughs> okay, welcome back. So I shut the door now because most of it's burnt off. I can't really smell it now. I can't see no smoke. It's 15 in here. I've just shut the door. But I'm telling you now, I've got my little fan on top, and oh my god, this is so nice. Um, the wood's nearly burnt out. It lasts around an hour and 20 minutes. Well, it's not fully burnt out. You can see all the coals in there, obviously. It's kicking off some heat. Let me show you that. I love this thing. This thing is... Hang on. Let's go ahead and scan. Can't see the dot. What's going on? Okay, one second. Took the dot off. There you go. Look at that, baby. So this is no fake video. And do not talk about the carpet, because <laughs> it won't be on carpet. As you can see, it's not even straight. I'm just trying to work it out, actually, because of the bed. It's six foot, so I have to start from this corner now. And it will just miss it. So I might have to put, like, a heat shield on the side of the bed. But that's cool. Anyway, let me just show you. For some reason, it's reading the floor. That's 200, but it's nowhere. It's not hot at all. Well, there is some heat down there, though. I'll pick that. Don't know why that's reading at 400. I think this thing's crap. It's Chinese. How can that be 178 and that's... And that's a different reading. I think the reflection of the beam, I'm not sure. But it's 400. 430. Yeah, there you go. 
that is kicking off some heat peeps and yes I've got my old fan on there hey hey I'm loving that thing I'm loving it got the windows open as well so don't think I'm sitting in there you know lovely so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw some more wood in there because I want it to be really really high temperature because I want to check my um, what's it called my porthole to make sure that's all cool it could take high temperature because obviously that's stainless steel if you watch my video you know what I'm talking about because that's a removable log burner so I can remove that anytime and store it under there when I'm not using it this is the whole plan so let me throw some more wood inside and we'll talk a bit more about it because I haven't told you all the details to be honest and this thing here this knob it gets bloody hot so you're gonna need gloves for this one look at that some more okay obviously if it was um what's it called logs it would last so long this is just all softwood isn't it i need to get some tools now for the um what's it called the little shovel on that okay let's talk a bit about it because um i paid 240 for the log burner and the tube I think it cost me, the tubes cost me, I can't remember now, £30 for the two tubes. And the reason I bought the tubes separate from the log burner is the whole kit for that was 400 quid. So I've saved a lot of money to just to buy the pipe separate. And if you want to know what pipe it is, it's 4 inch, 100 mil, millimetre. And look at that, just look how quick that thing starts roasting up. And the oxygen thing's off. So it draws really nice. Really, really nice. If I open it up, look at that. Oh, I've got an oven coming for it as well. So I'll do some cook videos, show you that little oven. That oven is just sick. Foldable oven. Um, what else? Just need to get some bits and bobs for it now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit in the van now um, because obviously it's all. You know, the smell's all burnt off now. I'm going to just light some of this stuff up. So we light it. Burn most of this wood in this one. I want to start. I don't need all this thing. Oh, yeah, my... Oh, yeah, I've got my normal um, paper logs in there. Hey, hey. Should we chuck one of them in there and see how long it lasts? <laughs> paper mashing logs. Can you remember that when you used that school? Hey. Oh, I just love sitting here, hearing it pop. Pop, 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 pop. I am working on my um, stones as well. I will put them on top in another video. Well, I'm waiting for my ammo case, to be honest. But I've tried it in a... Um, what's it called? Uh, a cook pan. I left it on top just to see the temperature of the stones. And then, yeah, it worked all right. But I took it off because, obviously, you know, you want to see the log burner results. You don't want to see the stones, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Had them on there for a little while. They did hold the temperature quite good. Yeah, so let me just burn up some more rubbish and um, I'll let you know if I have any faults. And yeah, it's up to you what you want to do. Oh, bloody hell, so I jacked it up more. Oh, got the hot box on top. Temperature's nearly 20 something in here now. And this is just after a couple of minutes, I just changed my mind, you know, trying to mix it up a bit. Because everyone's seen a log burner, right? But you want to see results. Oh my god, it is cooking. It's a different kind of heat, man. The log burner heat, I don't know. Might be in your mind, you know. You might just like to see the flames and shit. I don't know. But it's a better heat. Oh my god. Got the windows open. I think I should open this one as well. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, baby. Open. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's open that one as well. Oh, nice breeze there. Woo! Okay. Let's see how long that takes to burn. I'm not going to burn it all peeps because it does take quite a while to burn. You know, I'm not going to sit in there for like fucking hours and hours just to make a little um, video. Obviously, now I'm happy that you know it's not um, burning off access paint and stuff. So yeah, give it a good two hours burn. Trust me. Definitely give it a nice two hours burn. Woo! There she goes.
me. So, I've been in here for about two hours now. To be honest, um, let me show you the bad points on this burner. The first thing I noticed is the flow take. It looks like it's not working, you know what I mean? So, if I close it, sh those flames should have lowered, right? To me, it, it doesn't look like it's knocked off the oxygen. And that's the only one I've got in here. And obviously I've got this one as well. But that's the tray. So that's closed properly. It's burning for a long time. I'm not knocking it. But I thought when you go up and down. It should rear up. And then it should calm down. And these knobs. Get really really hot beeps. So I'll be modifying this one. I'll be buying a different one. What doesn't get hot. They get really hot. Let me show you on the temperature gun actually. Bear with me. It's showing that knob is 500 man. 550. That one's 224. And that one's 364. The rocks are doing bloody good man. Um, they're actually baking at the moment. Yep. Yeah, they're holding a bit of heat up there. Obviously, they're not like in an ammo case. So those in an ammo case, they get even hotter. You know what I mean? It's opened up there at the moment, so it's cool. Uh, the floor is 207, 205, 213. Um, I'll get my slate in there. They're the only bad points I can find out at the moment. But everything else is burning good. It can hold a nice... Let me show you. It can hold nice size wood. That's what I like about it. Oh, look, when I open it... It goes down. It's a bit weird. Let me show you. Example, this stick. It's quite a nice size stick. Look at that. If I turn it that way, that actually go in. Look at that. So just say, 10 inch logs, no problem. Let me shut this door again. Yeah, you got to be careful with that knob. Sorry, when I shut the door, it rears up. Oh, maybe this. Oh, hold on a minute. Yes, it looks like it's loose up here. Maybe you have to um, screw that, but it's so hot. Yeah, it's loose. It's a bit loose up here. So maybe if I tighten it, it'll get, you know, like a tighter fit. Yeah, that's loose. Oh, okay. But as you can see, it's burning lovely in there. It's burning lovely, jubbly. Lovely, jubbly. And up there, um, my marine porthole, I checked it, pucker. It's not glowing, nothing. To be honest, the temperature's not that hot up there. It's only 120, 105, 107, so it's perfect. Okay, that is my little update on my log burner. So let me know in the comments below, tell me what you think. And I'm burning soft wood. I think that's insane, two hours, three hours, you know what I mean, on soft wood. Hey. I did top up a few times, obviously, you know, that burning process. Yeah. Yeah, I need to sort this out. Open. Looks pretty cool, right? There are some coals in there. Oh, yes, baby. Okay. That is it from Hobbies and Gadgets. I upload this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace. Now I've shut all the windows. <laughs> be out. Shut all these windows there. We are highly recommend. Oh, that's a nice breeze. When you've got that log burner on, make sure you've got um, some windows open because it does get really, really, really hot. Too hot, to be honest. So I won't be doing big fires in there. They'll be really, really small fires with the hot rocks on the top. And I'll just keep my um, windows open, to be honest. Well, I've got one at the back, what's not finished. My marine porthole. You know that one, isn't it, Brett? Yeah, Brett knows that one. Still got to finish off that back door. And I'll keep the shower one open. And maybe this one, because no one can get into this one when you're sleeping, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got one on the side door as well. Okay, that is it for me. So, Pucker, I'll give it um, 
I can't give it the full 10, but bloody hell. It's a good banner. It's a good banner. That's the only problem so far. Those knobs get really, really hot. And that slider. But maybe I need to tighten it. But yeah, I'll do that in the next video. Because it's so hot there. I can't touch that. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to let it all cool down. And signing off. Peace.